I'm Maya. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm the product of two people that come from completely different walks of life. My mom is from the Midwest, and my dad is from the Middle East. Growing up black and Persian in the South made me really used to being different from a very early age. Because of this, I see people who are different than me as an opportunity to learn about new experiences from a different perspective. When it was time for me to go to college, I picked a school that was in Washington State. My second year of school, I signed up for a program called Gateways for Incarcerated Youth that allows students to take a class at Green Hill, which is a juvenile detention facility. Once a week, we're taught alongside the guys at Green Hill, allowing us to bridge the gap between mass incarceration and higher education. I have a cousin that's in prison, and I have some friends that have spent the night in jail for some petty crimes, but before I took gateways, I had never set foot inside of a prison. The United States has 5% of the world's population, but a fifth of the world's prisoners. We also have the highest recidivism rate, which is something that I'd never heard of before I took gateways. And it turns out that most people don't know what recidivism means either. Do you know what recidivism is? Recidivism. What is the word again? Recidivism? I'm not sure. Do you want to just guess? Can I start a friend? Could you use the word recidivism in a sentence? What does it mean? So recidivism is the rate at which people that have been to jail go back to jail. Oh. So in America, if you've been to jail once, there's a 75% chance that you're going to go back again. Isn't that crazy? That is insane. When we're constantly being bombarded with information and statistics, it's really hard to remember that each number represents a human being. I decided to talk with some of my friends that I met through Gateways and share their stories with you. Some of them are in jail, some of them are out of jail. Some of them can reflect on how taking Gateways has changed the trajectory of their life. But there is one thing that ties them together, and that's the transformative effects of education. Now, it's natural to be curious as to how these guys became incarcerated. But our goal with this is to give a voice to people that are normally just reduced to nothing more than a statistic. Because of this, I've decided not to include the crimes committed by my friends in this series. Instead, I encourage you to also be curious about what life circumstances put them in the position to be incarcerated. What's it like to be in jail? And most importantly, what impact can education have to better someone's life?